this is no joke my fifth attempt on trying to do this video um where do i even begin just let me just let me explain what has been going on <laughs> Oh my god! Okay, let me explain, let me explain. Let me pin this hair back. And let me start off this video right, because this is ridiculous. Hi everybody, it's your girl Segan, and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a minute, but I'm here to explain what's been going on. Okay, I'm super nervous trying to record this video, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, I haven't sat down and recorded in a very long time and I haven't uploaded in forever it feels like so let me get through it I'm not trying to be dramatic like I promise you guys but it's like it literally feels like I'm doing YouTube all over again I'm sorry for the sirens in the background I don't know what's happening I hope everything is okay but it's mad annoying because it's not helping my nerves okay <laughs> But first and foremost, let's state the obvious. You guys see the new setup, so shout out to my fiance for helping me put this together. And your girl is sitting down now, so that is amazing for me because all my videos I'm always standing and it gets annoying, especially if I'm talking like long form. So let me explain why I was away for such a long time. Um, again, it was not planned. I really tried to kind of commit to the consistency of uploading videos, uploading stories, uploading videos on um, and pictures on Instagram and things like that, but things didn't really work out for your girl and I'm here to explain why. But before we get started, if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel, make sure you click that red button and subscribe. And if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, make sure you guys are following me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, TikToks, all that. And we'll get to TikTok later in this video because your girl is trying and like, it's just... So if you guys follow me on Instagram, I posted on my stories like a small little clip of me being in Erythra and I got a lot of DMs being like, oh my god, are you there now? Like da 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 da. Like, are you in Asmara? I can't wait for your vlogs and stuff like that. And I'm just like, sis, brother, half day, how way? Like, um, I'm back, but like <laughs> I'm super jet lagged. Being that I, like I was bored at 2 a.m., I would just kind of just be on social media, posts and things like that. While I was in Eritrea, the postings just stopped happening. And they started happening again only like recently, only as recent as last week. Because when I was out there, my phone didn't really work. And that was really frustrating because I would go to like the internet cafe. They would say like, oh, I need this access, VPN this, blah, 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 blah. And then somebody told me that my phone doesn't work here at all, like because it's, a, it's an iPhone. And so I was just like, wait, what? That makes no sense because when I was here three years ago, my, my phone worked so what are you what are you what are you telling me right now so anyway i was kind of upset at that because i needed aside from being on social media i really need to contact my family at home needless to say the trip to erta was was very interesting so if you guys want to see a story time on my trip to erta let me know in the comment section down below that way i can record it for you guys because my 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 erta we i was just like uh okay but anyway, I get back from Arisa and then I get uh, a call that I need to fly out again for some family stuff. Coming back from my second trip, I came home to just like little Asmara in my house. Like everything smelled like shiro. Everything was kind of all over the place and I really need to get my house in order. And I said to myself, I'm like, you know what? I can't continue to kind of do content, post anything or whatever if my house isn't in order. So I technically took two breaks one break was unintentional because I really did want to post and show you guys like my experience when I was in Asmara while I was in Asmara, but that didn't happen. And then the second break was just like, okay, wait, let me put my phone away and let me get my house in order. So I kind of went on a shopping spree, but like not for clothes or anything. I kind of just went on, I went to Winners, I went to HomeSense, I went to Marshalls, like I went to Ikea just like went crazy at ikea and i just got a, a lot of things for the house we went to home depot but that big break like break number one wasn't my fault i tried going to internet cafe i gave my not fuzz and everything and it just wasn't working for me not my fault break number two i really just need to get my mind and everything in order so that was me like you know what i mean but i needed that because that was just 
that was that was so needed but i also shared on my instagram that i was like whoa i'm like mad nervous to do youtube because it's like it's been so long hold on where's my concealer oh wait my concealer's right here <laughs> what was i saying all right yeah so i shared on my instagram that like i'm really nervous to upload on youtube and i'm feeling very overwhelmed a lot of you guys were in my dms saying that like oh my god girl just upload anything like we we miss you we haven't seen you upload in a really long time where have you been and things like that and i was just like man like i didn't post it for that but i thought that that was really sweet so here i am but a huge factor of me not posting was just stress. Like I was stressed out. And when I get stressed out, I break out. And I haven't had a breakout in such a long time. But after getting back from that trip, I broke out on my nose. I broke out on my forehead. Like I haven't had a breakout on my nose for like how long? And I woke up one morning and there were two pimples like side by side, like one, two in a row. And I'm just like, wait, why is this happening to me? Like, this is really, really weird. But when I think about it, I was having not nearly as much water as I would normally have. So that's why I've been drinking water like crazy. And just like my diet, I'm just trying to get more of a handle on it because it's like, I'm breaking out everywhere. Like there's blackheads here, there's breakouts here forget this area and between my eyebrows forget it like it's just it's breakout city but on the bright side of things i'm really loving my new setup like i actually i was so overjoyed like i didn't put this i didn't like drill it in the wall like my fiance did it so shout out to him but i came in and i was like oh my god and he had it all set up for me and stuff like that i'm just like this is like the sweetest thing ever because i was in such a like a overwhelming state like I, I was just like okay maybe i need to write down my thoughts like what's going on i need to do this i need to do that i need to do this i need to do that little did i know he would have everything kind of set up for me so i'm just like wow this is like i was like wow you're a real one for this like thank you boo like i love you <laughs> it was like okay this is a great fresh start because if you guys watched my latest video i was out here like really amped for the new year i was really like excited about what's to come and things like that and don't get me wrong i am excited there was just like a huge overwhelming feeling that just kind of consumed me and i was like this is not the right way to start the decade and this is not the right way to start the new year and da -da -da -da. and i found myself texting that to my fiance and he's just like second it's like the seventh day of the year and i'm just like you're right you're absolutely right like i'm I'm, I'm bugging like I need to just chill like you know what I mean needless to say I am back I am so happy to be back home I'm so happy that my home looks even more homier if that makes sense I'm just back to feeling how I felt in that last video and I actually don't typically do this but I watched that video um and I was just like wow second like you look mad cute but no 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 like i was just like wow you're actually really excited about what the future was gonna hold and here you are in the future and you're not as pumped like what's going on like you know what i mean i felt so bad when i was back home and i couldn't post anything like i was just like wait what is going on why can't i post anything on instagram youtube i was just like you know what i get it it's not readily available i found out when i was there but luckily I had videos ready for you guys to be uploaded and stuff like that. I, I felt okay about that, but it was really like the Instagram because I know how much you guys love to see footage from back home and things like that. It's nostalgic for most of you guys and new for a lot of you guys as well. So um, it, w it just would... <sighs> It would have been nice, but maybe, I don't know, maybe something will change down the road. I, I don't even know. So another thing that I'm doing is <laughs> your girl is thinking about being a vegan. I know. It's crazy. Because if you guys know me, if you guys know me, I'll eat a zebra. Like, I don't care. Like, I... <laughs> Oh, I love meat like the only the only meat that I don't eat. I don't eat pork, but I just love meat Like I don't think you I don't think you get it. Like I, I like raw meat. I like Sauteed grilled boil anything like I love it. I love seafood too So like animals under the sea like you can get it too like you know what I mean? Like I love meat, but your girl is really out here thinking of being a vegan or at least trying it out like I don't know like I'm nervous because it's like it's just a huge commitment and I'm just like I have way too many commitments in my life right now that I have to like see through I don't know if veganism can like really get involved in that but I'm considering it 
Just thought I'd let you guys know. I don't know because you guys love my food vlogs and I love you guys for it, but I think I might introduce a few vegan meals. The one thing that I am seriously with no like with no doubt in my mind of that I'm gonna be cutting out is dairy. Like I, I can't. Which is gonna be super hard for me because one of my favorite things to have for breakfast is like a yogurt parfait. Like I'll make a yogurt parfait at home. I know it's, it sounds like so extra and so bougie, but like really and truly, like I had one this morning. I'm just like, is there anything else that I need in this world right now in this moment? And the answer was no. Like I had it right in front of me. So anyway, so I'm definitely going to be cutting that out. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put on some eyeshadow because why not? If we're going to do a soft glam look, let's do soft glam. Okay. So I'm gonna obviously mess around with the browns because I'm using my Morphe palette. What is this palette called? Oh yeah, it's the 3502 Second Nature palette by Morphe. So the next topic of conversation is when I was back home, I had my hair braided. <laughs> okay, so I'll insert a picture right over here and your girl had her hair in braids and if you guys are new to my channel, if you guys are old to my channel, let me just remind you guys that I have very thin hair. Not only is it thin, I have maybe, I've, I've never seen hair like thinner than mine. Like no joke, I'm not exaggerating. I'm not even trying to like self-deprecate or anything like no, 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 no. It's like straight up, I know what I have. It's, it's always been like that. I've never put on a perm. I've never colored my hair. I've never did anything like that. My hair for as long as I remember, has always been thin. Has it been very long in the past? It has, but it's always been very thin. Like, honestly, even as a kid, like my mom never put my hair in braids, ever. Because one, it would unravel, because it's super soft, uh, and I'm also super tender-headed. As much as I love to have my hair in, in the cultural braid up, like, the cultural braid up doesn't love me back, like, really and truly. Like, it, in the past, it has taken my edges away from me like and I took and it took me a while to like figure out how to get them back and now that I figured it out I'm just like do I really want to run the risk of doing that all over again to myself but I did anyway so I had my hair in braids they kind of convinced me like my family out there was just like it's fine like when you get back to Canada just make sure that you take it out don't leave the hair in for for long so I agreed and I was just like, you know what? You're right, it looks lit. I look beautiful in it, so like, why not? I'm not even tr trying to be like dramatic by any means. It's just like, I find that like when I see girls with braids, like I find that it's just another, it's just so beautiful. Like it brings out so much beauty. It brings out their facial structure. And quite honestly, it's like a natural facelift. Like let's be real. Like the minute somebody has their hair in braids, they look refreshed. Why? Because everything is pulled back. <laughs> like, and it took such a long time <laughs> to take out these braids but I finally did it but I did notice that m not that my hair was coming out but it, there was just a lot more irritation in the front of my hair which is like the weakest part of my scalp so I'm gonna start doing the onion treatment all over again because I have friends that are getting married in oh my god in a few weeks now it's not even a month anymore Ugh, I thought I had a month but in a few weeks now and I'm doing a braid up for their wedding again so because I don't want my hairline to be like back here I'm gonna start doing the onion treatment like literally tonight like after I finish filming after I after I finish doing what I have to do I'm literally going to put on onions garlic and black rice water on my hair that's pretty much it. If you guys haven't watched my onion treatment video, it is on my channel. I'll leave it right over here in English and in Tarunia for those of you guys that speak the language. I really, I'm, I really want to talk about Eritrea, but like, I don't know if you guys would want to see that or want to hear about my trip. So let me know in the comment section down below if you guys want to hear about it. But oh my God, there, there's too much to share. There is too much to share. There is too much. There is way too much to share. But let me know how you guys have been so far. Like, have you guys been feeling the pressure of like 2020, you gotta do it all in like the first 24 hours? Like, I don't know, that's how I felt and I want to share that with you guys. For those of you guys that are out there feeling overwhelmed, if you guys aren't feeling overwhelmed, you have 2020 by the balls, like, 
congratulations good on you but like for me it's kind of like oh my god i don't know at first but now i'm just like i get it now i'm on the swing of things i know exactly what i'm going to be doing i know exactly what's gonna what i need to do to make things happen so that's pretty much it so i'm gonna quickly do the rest of my eye makeup off camera and make sure i get this lighting so it doesn't go away I used the NYX eyeliner. I used this um, liquid eyeliner right over here. If the lighting goes up and down, it's because the sun is now just setting. <laughs> it's, it's really early, but that's just how it is like in the winter. Um, I use uh, their Real by Benefit Cosmetics. And I used number 11 Kiss Lashes on my lashes. Okay, so I'm gonna take my NARS blush in the color Orgasm and I'm just gonna apply it on my cheeks and what I've been noticing actually is a lot of a lot of people are starting to put it on their nose like heavy like I was watching the Doja Cat vlog or sorry <laughs> the Doja Cat Vogue thing and she puts blush on her nose like it's nobody's business and I'm just like I feel you but also like sis that's a lot like I don't mind putting a little bit but she made a good point. She's like, it just wears off anyway. So it's not as crazy. Awesome. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do is uh, put on some bronzer. And the bronzer that I'm gonna use is by Fenty Beauty and it's the Beige on Gel bronzer. You guys know how much I love this bronzer. So I'm just gonna bronze up my face just a little bit. Although I do feel bronzed already because like coming back from Erica, it's like, I don't think my my tan has gone away like at all but why not I'm gonna use the NYX lip liner in cocoa and I'm gonna line my lips all right next I'm going to take my Mac lipstick in the color modesty I knew that <laughs> and it's this nice brownish pink which is like perfect All right, is this the final look? I think so. It's been such a minute. I don't even know when to begin, when to end. All right, guys, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This video is pretty much an apology. This is, this is an apology video. This is a, I am sorry that it took me forever. I am sorry it took me nearly a month to upload a video. Trust me, I am trying my hardest, but there were circumstances that were out of my control. Don't know why I'm, don't know why my voice just cracked, but you guys already know that I am back at it. There is going to be some big things happening on my channel this year that I'm really excited for, that I'm really excited to share with you guys. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to subscribe, that way you are in the loop of what's going on. But also I share so much on my Instagram and now on TikTok, which is funny, but like we'll see how far this TikTok thing goes. Instagram, I feel like I'm going to forever upload by like the hour anyway, or at least I'm going to try to. Uh, so make sure that you are following me on Instagram as well. And I will see you guys in like two more days. That's it. Like your girl's going to be here. You're going to see me on your timeline. So if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel just yet, make sure you're subscribed. Also click that bell icon that way you get notified every single time I upload on YouTube because there's this huge thing that keeps bouncing around different YouTube channels and it's like even if you are subscribed you won't get notified that the video is uploaded. That's why you that's why the bell icon is there. So I'm just like what? Like you guys are making it harder and harder and harder. Like what's going on? But anyway, your girl's back back from the motherland, back with some stories to share. So again, make sure that you let me know if you guys want me to share them. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all that I have for you guys. Again, I apologize for those that were just like, where is she, what is going on? That means a lot because I didn't think people were out there checking for me. Also guys, for the Gabi season video, there's only like, I wanna say two more months left of Gabi season. That, that means there's only like, I wanna say, actually less. Oh my god, there's only a few weeks left of Gabi season, so let me know the topics that you guys want me to discuss because once Gabi season is done, it's done, baby. So again, guys, comment down below what you guys want to see next. DM me on Instagram. I love to read DMs and stuff. 
like that. So, <laughs> again, guys, I'll see you in my next one. Bye. <laughs> oh, my God.